Joining me now is controversial relationship coach Jake Maddock, who is uh, quite the online sensation. He helps lonely hearts find the one, but his advice is sometimes not appreciated by all women when they let themselves go don't let yourself go don't gain 20 kilos of fat because firstly you won't like yourself and then in turn you'll sabotage your relationship from a lack of confidence don't do that and you only have one body so don't be lazy don't let yourself go jake welcome to the program your advice is certainly blunt but is it effective very effective 100 percent. thanks for having me by the way oh no my pleasure um Tell me uh, what reaction you get because uh, a lot of the things you advise men and women, well, they're not used to hearing. That's true. I teach a lot of masculine and feminine energy type stuff. So nothing too controversial, really. A man should open a door for a woman, stuff like that, which, and the man should pay for the date, which I, I think it should be that way. Some people don't agree, but... I think women deserve those things. If you really want to achieve a 10 out of 10, where's the chivalry? I think it should be more, guys should be more chivalrous. Well, absolutely. Let's have a quick look at a clip where you talk about this masculine, feminine energy and, and, and the roles. If he should lead our relationship, that's correct. I believe we are a partnership, thoughts. You're wrong. Masculine and feminine energy states that a man is the leader, you are the supportive role. That's masculine and feminine energy. If you want to be a leader in your relationship, your relationship will fail. Masculine and feminine energy, some people don't think it's fair. Masculine and feminine energy in relationships aren't about fairness, they're about love and happiness. Jake, what do you say to those who say, well, no, that advice is, is sexist, it's too old fashioned? Yeah, I, I hear it. Um, a lot of people try to make men and women the same. Here's the thing. That's not really fair. It's, and it's men and women are very different and women deserve to be treated differently than men do. Um, a lot of people call that old fashioned, but relationships do seem to go better. And I, you really got to embrace masculine and feminine energy. If you really want to achieve a 10 out of 10 relationship properly. And Really, there's nothing really wrong with that. I think it goes fantastic. Now, you say women should not accept what you call low-value dates. Can you explain what you mean by that? Yeah, so a lot of guys these days will be like, hey, I like you, can I take you out for a cup of coffee? That's a low-value date. Where's the effort? Where's the... It's not enough chance for anything romantic to happen. I want to see a proper high-value date. He picks the girl up, opens the car door, takes her to a nice restaurant. I want to see a decent amount of effort. So what what does that say if you are a woman and you accept a coffee date or you accept a, I don't know, a walk in the park? Uh, does that devalue you? What's, what's, uh, what's the uh, mistake there? Yeah, so basically if a woman says yes to hanging out or going for a walk and stuff like that, it's just showing you that, her confidence isn't that high in herself and she's basically willing to accept less than optimum behavior from a guy. And the thing is, it's not saying that guy's necessarily a bad guy, more that he probably also lacks confidence in dating as well. Dating should be done correctly. Now, what if there is a relationship and there's infidelity in that relationship? Uh, do you advise the, your clients to, to stay if there has been cheating? As my, my general rule is no? the instant betrayal occurs, it's over. Any betrayal, it's done. There's no coming back from that. I don't, I don't think so. I think, it, I think relationships can only take so much damage. Once a certain amount of damage has been caused, I, I don't think you can get it to a 10 out of 10. And that, that memory is always there too, yeah. Now, I think we need our viewers to send in some questions for you. I think we've got next time you're on, we're going to have some uh, uh, broken hearts or, I don't know, people looking for love. Come in with some questions. But this is something that is often a topic of discussion among women and men, I'm sure. What if your partner is friends with their ex is that a sign of maturity or should that be perceived as a red flag? It's definitely a red flag. What's very common these days is people trying to have PC type relationships. They think it's a sign of maturity to be friends with your ex and all this sort of stuff. It's not a sign of maturity. I would say it's a sign of just being 
not very wise okay the thing a lot of people need to remember just because you can doesn't mean you should if you want to maximize the chance of success being friends with your ex is definitely a bad idea human beings were naturally a little bit jealous and it's okay we do have the emotion of jealousy for a good reason don't be friends with your ex a 10 out of 10 relationship it's going to be the best thing you ever achieve so i would say maximize your chance of success and do you really want to be friends with your ex anyway why really there's a lot of people to be friends with you broke up for a reason. You're right there. Now, you're preaching relationship advice in an era where terms like toxic masculinity are thrown around every day and you've got men like Harry Styles who are celebrated for their femininity and getting dressed up in uh, female <laughs> outfits. Uh, what impact does all that have on relationships, uh, heterosexual relationships? You know, it's very interesting. So I've coached thousands of people over the years. Not much, okay? Really, really not much. The majority of people I talk to, they want a relationship where the woman's feminine and the guy's masculine. The thing with masculine femininity, I think a lot of people have misconceptions about what they is. They they think about, okay, feminine energy is a girl in a pink dress with the, the hair and the riding the pink bicycle down the street. Feminine energy is really just being nurturing, caring, supportive, and joyous. It's nothing too complicated. It's just basically mm. behavioral traits, which so a lot of people have these misconceptions. So they think about masculinity as a guy beating his chest like some sort of Tarzan gorilla or something. Masculine energy is just about leadership, ambition, decisiveness, and protection. You can be a, mm. a normal sort of a brilliant, vibrant member of the community and still do those attributes really, really well. Oh, absolutely. I think masculinity has got a bad rap uh, recent years. Now, just finally, tell me how you went from being a tradie in Harvey Bay to a relationship guru now. You've got clients uh, from all around the world seeking your advice on how to find the perfect partner. Yeah, 100%. Um, I struggled with relationships for years. My 20s was a headache, really. It was not fun. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know... I looked masculine, but I didn't know how to do masculine energy. I my emotions were all over the shop. I was just I was just hopeless at relationships. Didn't know what I was doing, um, and I wanted to be good at relationships. So I studied and learned and put in lots of effort and just learned everything I could about relationships. And then I started teaching one person and two people, and before you know it, thousands of people later. And it's just just my passion in life, Rita. I do this seven days a week. I love it. I love helping people achieve a ten out of ten. It's exciting. Jake Maddock, thank you so much for your time this evening. Really appreciate it.